So here we are again on another video, another adventure. Again, we're back in the Brecon Beacons. Uh, this time it's pitch black. As you can see, the time now is about 5.30 in the evening. And um, yeah, basically we're gonna do a wild camp on the top of Penavan. Um, it was a last minute uh, decision. We were invited by a guy called Paul Walder and he's another YouTuber and his channel is called That and Fit Bloke um, apparently he's uh, leaving his home about half past four uh, which I think is in Telford and uh, I'm not sure what time he'll get here but we told him we'll meet him up on the summit so um, it's going to be a, a, a night hike in effect with the torch light so uh, yeah we're going to head on up there pitch up the tent and then hope hopefully we see him later so uh, yeah, stay with us and see how we get on. So we've parked the car just up the road because we we come to the um, Pont de Daff car park earlier, which we're walking through now, and it's seven pound fifty. But that's only till 23.59 tonight. And you can use a car to pay, so we've parked in the car park across the road, the free one. And we're gonna make our way up to Penavan now. The footbridge is shut. They're doing repairs to it or something, so we're gonna there's like a diversion set up. So we're gonna follow the diversion now and then. Yeah, see what it's like. This is a good start. We can find the diversion to get us over the river. So I think we're going to have to backtrack back to the car park and have another look. It's not easy in the dark. There's not, well, there's no lights or anything around. Do you reckon so? I'm going to go back down there and have a look. I do, yeah, I don't know which way it is. Right, let's try again. Right, we managed to get over the stream, river, whatever you call it. Normally, there's a bridge just by there, but that's been taken down and we've had to try and cross by there and yeah, we've done it. It wasn't easy. So we're gonna head up on the path now. It was a pain, wasn't it? It took us about, I don't know, half hour to get up the car park. So if you're thinking of coming to Penavan in the future, just bear in mind the bridge is not there, so we we'll have to go on a diver diversion, but obviously it's harder in the dark, so if you come in the day, you should be fine. If you're new to the channel, why not consider subscribing? It's absolutely free, it doesn't cost you anything. Make sure you um, hit the notification bell as well, and you'll be notified of any of our future adventures. Well, this is interesting. This is the first night hike we've done since we were in Scouts <laughs> and I was in Hay on Wye a place called Glazebury I'll never forget it yeah I've gone back a bit early yeah we were like I don't know 14, 14, 14 15. 15 I think it was and the two scout leaders took us on this hike and we said right there you go boys you're on your own now you, just, you lot just carry on walking, right? So we've done the hike, made our way back to the Scouts Hut, walked past the pub, and who was sat in the window of the pub? Two Scout leaders. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never, we'll never forget it. No. But, you know, what sort of people leave a load of kids out in the, to do a night hike on their own? 
terrible. <laughs> and going back to the two scout leaders, if you're watching poor Bembo and Morph, what a bad pair of buggers you were. Bad buggers. And they left us on a mountain. I think there was like eight of us sharing two three-person tents joined together. Remember that, Mac? Yeah, and they were, they were the old, the old heavy fabric uh, tents, weren't they? Force ten Vango tents, I think they're called. Yeah, force ten. Force tens, I think they were. And uh, we were cramped in there for like I don't know overnight, nine, ten hours or whatever, and that was hell. We'll never forget it. It was hell. They were the good old days. That's why we love camping so much. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah. Very easy, man. Love it. <sighs> We're not far off the summit now, and um, it's pretty pretty misty up here and we almost went off the wrong path um, it's so easy to get lost up here like when it gets misty you can't see where the hell you're going but uh, we got OS maps on our phone we just found the path again so uh, you've got to be so careful and make sure you've got some sort of GPS or a map or something to get you to guide you around because you could be in trouble and there's a big drop off there's a hell of a drop to my right which is going that way so we're on the path again, now you can see the path. But I can't stress enough how, um, how easy it is to lose this path. And you could end up going right and down, tumbling down there, which is not going to be good. And on this path all the way to the summit, I should imagine, there's these little red flags, the marker flags. And tomorrow is the um, 6th of December. And it's the annual fan dance. It's like a... SAS endurance type event and it's held every year on the beacons so I'm assuming that's what they're for and there's loads all up on this trail and there we have another one on the other side of the path so they're dotted around here Penavan Summit tap out again for the what seems like a, the millionth time it's a little bit windy up here not as bad as I thought it'd be so we're gonna <coughs> just walk down that way a bit and then get the tent up. Hopefully we're slightly out of the wind. And then just wait for Paul to arrive then. We think we found our pitch. By there, this way. With the ass end up there facing into the wind. Yeah, that's where we're gonna put it. Right, let's get the tent up. Well, we've only gone and done it again. Pitched up. God, that was a battle against the wind. Bloody hell, funny time. Yeah, I was not aware that was. It was disorientating. Our hands were freezing. But we've managed to, well, the hard part was trying to find a level area it's in, in the dark and in the wind but we're in the tent now which is always a bonus the only thing is there's a rock under there we're going to have to try and get that out because I don't fancy sleeping on that tonight but yeah we're in the tent warming up so we're just going to defrost our fingers in here for a bit yeah, this pitch is very uneven. There's a big, there's a big dip down there, big bump by there, big dip down there. But the most important thing is get out of that wind, um, stay, stay warm. I've got some nice Nordisk down slippers on, so I'll keep my feet warm. Basically, just stay in here for a while, um, warm up, get all the beddings together, get that set up, and then think about getting some food. I think. Yeah. 
yeah so we're in this tent now warming up nicely um, the tent haven't moved the wind's pretty strong but this is a, a, a proper um, four season mountain tent it's not light it's, it weighs about four kilos which is heavy for the tent um, backpacking tent but we split the weight down um, I carry the main the main uh, fly fly sheet in a tent and then Mark takes the um, all the poles and the stakes I'll just show you around now did I say what I want? yeah it's a, it's a Vango Nevis sorry the Vango Hurricane 200 right and it's a discontinued tent it's pretty old um, I haven't seen any other market for, for years um, I just love all uh, the gear loft which is there you got tons of pockets you got all these down this side and it's the same outside um, we've got two vestibules you've got one that end and the same size vestibule this ends we put all the boots outside there and the backpacks out there and then this end because the wind is coming from this direction we're going to open this up and then we're going to cook um, boil some water in that, in that vestibule there so we've got less chance of wind coming through so yeah yeah it's awesome tent this is love it I feel really I feel really safe in here knowing that we could you know we will be, be safe we know it's not gonna blow the tent down because it's, it's solid absolutely solid it is yeah so we're gonna have a warm up and we'll try and find Paul in a minute he's gotta be up there by now surely anyway we'll, br we'll bring you back once we've uh, located him right me and Simon have come out of the tent now and Paul is here So he does exist, we, we didn't make him up. So Paul's using the MSR Access 1 in orange, same as mine. I like those steaks. They're yeah, Easterns, are they? Are they Easterns? The Easterns? No. What? Did I forget? On eBay, I would have had Sarmos. And he does his own. So oh, okay. Either that nine, nine feet for four, where the Easterns left. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at him, look at him. So here's the other pole, he's sticking his tent up. Help me. Oh, he makes. <laughs> What tents are um Hell one. Hell oh, okay. There's our tent there. And over there there's more lights and there's there's other people camping over there as well, so yeah, pretty uh, popular spot this is. Jet boil is on. And I'm having a Galaxy hot chocolate. Marble pot noodle. Nice and easy, no mess around. And believe it or not, I'm doing dry January. Well, I'm not. <laughs> it's it's going to be a long old month, but something I need. Well, don't need to do, but 
something I think I should do. Just have a break from alcohol for a month. So I've got hot chocolates, two or three of them. So uh, that'll do me tonight. I'm quite happy with that. Also I've got Bolognese, that's what it is. Got that as well. And what I nearly always bring out on every camp is a bag of giant buttons. Happy days. Now for the main course. I'm using my fire maple remote stove and my titanium pot. Got my galaxy hot chocolate. I tell you what, that is. Ah, oh. awesome that is. And I tell you what, I'm not going back to drinking Herefordshire fire water ever again. And if you believe that, you'll <laughs> believe anything. Ah, oh, it's bloody lovely. You had these before, Galaxy. No, I haven't. I got some. Um I think they're instance or something. Yeah, I got Cadbury's in there as well. Mmm. I might have one in the morning. Just what you need on a cold winter camp. Yeah. Yeah, good thing about having these um, pot noodles. You can actually warm your hands at the same time while you're eating it. Can you hear the wind? We're not getting much luck in this wild camping um, thing lately, are we? Some of the weather have been experienced, it's just been an absolute nightmare. Like. But this tent is not going nowhere, let me tell you, it's just absolute. It's like a fortress, it's like a, it's like a wild camping fortress. It's just, look at it, it's not even bending, it's just amazing. So I'm going to eat this. And then I got another one, another hand warmer. It's about 10 to 11 now, and uh, we're both ready for bed. Didn't have much time at all, I had two paws earlier. Uh, gave my hand with a tent, a uh, tent I should say, because uh, quite windy. The wind's got steadily worse, so hopefully by the morning we'll have clear skies and a nice sunrise. Fingers crossed. So yeah, we'll see you in the morning. Good night for now. Morning, welcome back to Penaban Summit. It's about half seven now. Me and Simon have had an awesome sleep. Even though it's a bit windy outside, it's been brilliant in here. Ten hours of move. And already I can hear a lot of people outside. Because this is I'd say the second busiest mountain in Wales after Snowdon has to be. In this time. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely, there's always um, queues of people walking up here. So if I pass the camera aside, maybe you can open the, the tent and have a look outside. We're hoping for the sunrise, but let's see what we've got. What do you reckon, man? What are we going to have? Everything <coughs> bowed, to be honest. Well, it's not good, is it? Same as last night, it haven't changed. I can see plenty of head torches in the distance. I can hear people behind the tent, probably on the summit. Ken, um, two tents over there, the two poles. They haven't surfaced as yet. So yeah, it's pretty bleak out here. Yeah, I think we'll boil some water and uh, we might have a hot chocolate and then get a bit warm. Just talking to a guy over there, he just says the van dance is on today. And the van dance is basically a 15 mile endurance event where you carry fully laden packs 
and you do 15 miles over mountains and the Bracken Beacons, Penavan, Cribbing, Jacob's Ladder. So yeah, we're expecting a, a few hundred people up here very shortly. It's mad. <coughs> Don't know if you can see him, but <coughs> there's a fair few already turning up. <laughs> what expecting this today? <laughs> well, the van dance anyway. We didn't know about that. Obviously, we couldn't show you the tent last night because we're pack, um, pitching up in the dark. But there it is. There's a van going out of cane 200. Awesome tent. You just push it, it's just absolutely solid, like it's not going nowhere in the wind, that's not. Like I said uh, yesterday, two vestibules, one at the back, nice big porches. One at the back, and then you've got obviously it's a mirror image, one at the front. Absolutely fantastic tent. Proper mountain tent that is. Just what you needed be in this weather. This was a last minute decision I can't be here and we didn't realise the fan dance was on. <laughs> people everywhere. <laughs> you know we try and camp and get away from people but they've all turned up. <laughs> Still no views. <coughs> But we're gonna have a nice cup of chocolate now. Have a bit of a warm up. I don't normally drink um, hot chocolate, but it's beautiful as. A bit of a, ch um, <clears throat> a welcome change from coffee all the time. Really nice. It's lovely. I had two last night, one today. Oh, that's good. Lovely. I think these are gonna be a regular on, on, <clears throat> on future wild camps, I think. What have, what have I been doing all these years? Drinking out of future fire water. No good for you. This is the future, I think. No good for you. Good morning, Mr. Walder. Morning. How are you, alright? Did you get the glorious sunrise? No, did you? <laughs> we seem to have lost. I don't know how I do this. I've lost my bag for my poles and my pegs. <laughs> I'm like that lot. What I normally do is stick them all in one bag. What you have done? So we've, we're camping slap bang in the middle of the fan dance. Bye, <laughs> <laughs> right, Paul. Morning. Well rested. On and off. I stay getting slipped too bad to see how windy it was. Oh, no, yeah. How do the tents hold up? All right. Sounds yeah. Good. Yeah. Cool. Happy days. That's pretty solid as well, that helm. The helm tent. You look quite good then. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Very popular, I know that. They're not, they're not badly priced as well. Yeah, they're quite reasonable, aren't they? There's the other pole, he's in his helm compact. One. Yeah, as you see the fan dancing full flow, there's literally people everywhere. <laughs> right then, we're all taking our tents down now. Paul's taking his down. The other Paul's tent is down. We're going to take our tent down now and make our way out of here. Well, what I'll do, I'll just stand here and watch Simon do it. How's that? I know, it's crazy. Yeah. I'm expecting this, like. <laughs> yeah.
Right then, we're all packed up. As usual, no trace left. Ugh. That's where we were. Both Paul's tents were over there somewhere. Is this where you Yeah, by there. By there. Oh, by there. Oh, that's alright. It was alright. Anyway, we'll see you back down at bottom. Me and Simon are in the car now, heading home. Great to meet the two Pauls. Hopefully next time we can all go on a camp where we can spend some time together in the night. We were confined to our tents, we couldn't really talk to them until this morning, but we've had a good old chat. Yeah, great to meet them too. Like we always say, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next adventure. See you next time. Bye for now.